everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4. We are actually sitting down to a really nice Sunday morning breakfast here in the green household. Uh, it's so nice. Tate is whipping up some eggs and toast for his little boy who is very hungry. He's pretty excited about grabbing a serving of that food in just a minute. And Iris is just chit-chatting with her sister-in-law. Lily was feeling a little bit lonely. So, let's see. No, not yet, not yet, not yet. Don't get something out of the fridge. In fact, actually, the fridge needs cleaned out. So we're going to have this little guy clean the fridge out. His first chore, his first chore as a child is going to be cleaning the fridge out. And Tate is going to be reading to him soon. But let's see. Oh, Aww, she's expressing admiration for how cheerful Iris is when she's pregnant. That's so cute. That's what I'm going to say that's about. So we've got a lot to do today. We have to play with Pine and find out how he is doing. Lily needs to continue expanding the fuel storage on her spaceship because she's going to go off to space again. Iris needs to put some clothes on. That's always a bit of a tricky thing when you're expecting and pregnant. Tate is working on that. Let's see. And we have a starving little baby boy. He's grabbing a serving of the meal, though, so he should be good. Is it a good meal? Yes, it's an excellent meal. So he's going to be happy about that. Jeez, these two are just chit-chatting. Lily, come on. Oh, well, she's still kind of got her social a little bit low. And I can't can't fault them for wanting to be friends. Because, really, it's great to see the sister-in-law is getting along like that. Are they including the little guy in the conversation? No, he's just going to talk with his dad. Aw, Tate's just sitting down next to his son and talking to him while they're eating breakfast. Look at this. Wow, Tate, that's not alarming at all. Tate, just what kind of lessons are you telling your boy? <laughs> oh, they're cute. <gasps> I can't believe it. It's just so fun to know that Tate actually has the ability to speak with his son now. All right, so, so what's going on now? Ladies, are we finally getting to work? Are we doing the right kinds of things? Let's see. Iris it wandered into the bathroom, possibly because she's feeling morning sick, but she seems to be okay now. Let's let her take a bubble bath. Just relax a little bit. She wants to harvest a plant, which reminds me how are our cow plants? <gasps> They're babies! Look at them! Look at the little babies! The little moomoos. Look at them. Oh my gosh. So cute. So cute. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so they're doing good. We'll let her take a bath and then come out and like harvest up these really yummy grapes Then come over here, get back to work on her painting. I would love if she could finish her paintings today so that we could reach uh, the new stage of her aspiration and see what that is. So we just need three more paintings done. Resume flirty painting. Tate really wants to work on hanging out with his son. Lily, are you headed? Yep, Lily is going outside. She also wants to level up her handiness skill, which is pretty cool. So she's going to head outside, and she is going to work on upgrading her rocket. And Tate has a new aspiration now to have a big, happy family. And he wants to read to a child for a total of three hours, socialize with your child 20 times, Apparently he's doing that right now, so this is this is good. See, teach valuable lesson, discuss logic puzzle, joke about elephants, do it. And then boast about biggest catch. I have, oh, that reminds me! Tate has earned himself a pond in the yard. The house has a huge yard, and Tate has actually earned the ability from me, I'm saying, to have a fish pond in the yard, which is a mod that I downloaded. I just need to find where the little thing is. That's not it. We do indeed have a fish pond. I think it's an outdoor decoration, maybe, perhaps. Uh, let's do this. It's buyable somewhere. I just have to find it again. No, maybe it's not decoration. Maybe it would be... I already checked activities and skills, didn't I? Appliances, storage, comfort. Maybe it got knocked out by the latest upgrade, but I did have some pawns that you could buy and put down. I'm not seeing them though. Show all. Mm-hmm. Yes, filter items. Can I type in oh wait. If I come over here and hit pond. Yeah, in miscellaneous decorations. So we're gonna get the Willow Creek pond, the common fish pond. Come here. There it is. So we're going to get the common fish pond and add it in over here. If there was room. Oh my gosh, there's like no room. It's a lot bigger than I thought. 
Can I do that? Yes! So we now have a fish pond in the backyard. And that is to be Tate's like family reward for the family being able to have an aspiration filled. So Tate filled his uh, fishing aspiration. As a result, he is now allowed to have this puppy in the yard, but at common level. So this is the Willow Creek Common Pond. There's also the Oasis Springs Uncommon, Oasis Springs Rare, uh, the Sylvian Glade Fish Spot Rare, Oasis Springs Common 2 Uncommon Fish. We're gonna let him have the Common Pond. And that's because it's the first person in the family to fulfill that aspiration. Next time someone fulfills the fishing aspiration, I will allow them to have the uncommon. And the, the third person who fulfills the aspiration will allow the family to have the rare one. So we'll just kind of build our way up over time and hopefully this won't crash the game. So I'm really hoping yeah, we can go fishing and look for frogs in our own yard now, which I love. Perfect. That takes up a huge chunk of the yard, but I don't think Tate would have it any other way. So there we go. Now we have a pond and cowberry plants. Oh yeah, we've got a ton of stuff in our family inventory I haven't looked at. I keep meaning to. So we've got that VIP bucket from their great date that we're just going to chuck because it's just a silly item. Then Lily has a new chair. Check that out. Oh my gosh, that astronaut chair is awesome. We're going to just sell this old thing. Nice. She's got like her own little space station right here. And then we've got some painting. Wow. Okay, we're going to put those up here. Because it just seems like this would be like the closet clutter area, doesn't it? Oh, can I not stick them? Oh, I can stick them over here. Look at that. Oh, that's perfect for that corner. That's so cool. That's so cool. All right. And we've got two of the little spaceships. So we're going to take one of the little spaceships for now. I would put it there. Never mind. We're going to keep that little spaceship, I guess. But yes, yeah, so nice. We've updated the house in quite a few places. That's so cool. Let us resume. Resume cool things happening. Oh, Tate made a freezer bunny little thing. I didn't even notice. Didn't even notice. And Iris is expecting. Iris is expecting. That's so fun. All right, so this little guy is having a good time with his dad. Just hanging out with his dad. He wants to get to know his mom. He wants to make a friend. He wants to enthuse about the outdoors. Guess what? You can do that with your dad. He loves the outdoors too. So we'll let him enthuse about the outdoors with his dad. Put this in. Here, microbite. Here, microbite. There you go. Good boy. Fed the trash can for the morning. <laughs> Yay! Pine loves the outdoors. Aww. That makes me happy. He's feeling confident and he's going over to use the little thing. Tate, he's using the little thing. I don't know what that means, but he's using it. Also, Tate wants to also harvest a plant so he can come and pick these carrots. And then he can come over here. Still can't fertilize this little guy, but we're going to let him tend the garden. <clears throat> he took a bubble bath earlier, so he's feeling very playful. Mental skill for Pi in the wide world of programming pro problems and checkmates awaits. Just don't let it get to his head. Look at him, he's using this- Whoa! This is so cute! Pine, you are freaking adorable. You are like your, your auntie, that's what you're like. How's it going? You still having fun? Still mixing things? Yeah, he's still mixing things. This is cool. Oh, there's stuff happening. I just- but I love watching him be a little- a little scientist. Oh, it's so cool. He's just mixing various vials of stuff. I would have loved something like this as a child. Are you kidding me? I would have been all over that. All right, Tate, what are you doing? Don't troll the forms. Oh my gosh, do not be a troll. That is awful. What is your sister doing? Why is she going inside? What is going on, Tate? What is this nonsense? All right. Oh, and he can evolve things. I don't know. It's just, I don't know what to do with him for a minute. I don't know what to do with him for a minute. I am flummoxed because I want to splice more plants together. Well, all right, let's splice the trees. Let's make an apple pomegranate uh, banana tree. So what's the nicest tree? Very nice plantain mixed with, let's see, what's this one? Uh, nice pomegranate and great apple tree. I think great is the best. So let's evolve this puppy because we want it to be a higher level. Lily, what are you doing? Where are you going? Oh, she's getting some food. We'll let her go ahead and get some food. 
Iris, are you hungry? Iris is getting a little hungry too. Oh, she has to go to work today. Whoops. Iris. Iris, so sorry. Ooh, I don't know what you're painting, but you have work today. Sorry, darling. I know you're pregnant. Oh, I hate her work outfit so much. Uh, it just doesn't suit our lovely little iris. So sad. So Tate just evolved this plant to an excellent apple tree. That is great. Can we fertilize that puppy with like another bass? There you go. There you go, tree. Now what are you? Still excellent. That's fine. Um, And I think, yeah, we're going to take the nice pomegranate tree. So we're going to take a cutting from it. And the very nice plantain tree, we're going to take a cutting from it. And then once he has those cuttings, we're going to graft them onto the excellent apple tree. So Iris is off to work. So sad. I feel so bad making her go when she's pregnant. All right, so we're going to take the pomegranate. And we're going to graft on the plantain, too. And see what we get here. I love that he can do this. This is such a cool little skill. Oh, we totally made it a teensy tree again. We now have... An apple, apple pomegranate tree. So I guess we can only do it like once at a time. There you go, little guy. All right, Tate's just going around tending his garden. We actually need to have him feed himself. So let's bring him back over here. Where is your sister? It's Lily! For crying out loud, did you finish upgrading this thing? Oh, she did. Oh, Lily, you're going off into space. Go, shoo, get out of here. Go have fun. It's a great Sunday afternoon for the whole family. Oh, she wants to chat with someone, huh? Okay, where's where's your nephew? She hasn't really had chatted with her nephew yet, so let's have her come over and chat with her science experimental social bug nephew. He also wants to tell a joke, so let's go ahead and... Inside joke? Yeah. And then let her discuss latest games to show that she's a cool aunt. She is with it. She knows the latest Angry Birds. Hello. Look at her sit down on the bed while they talk. Maybe she can bring him home some cool space rocks or a space alien for his room. That would be awesome. Oh, look at him spend some time with Auntie Lily. That's so cute. She wants to compliment someone. Heartfelt compliment. Heartfelt compliment. She's like, yeah, it's not all about money, but it is a little bit. Tate, what are you up to? Feeling confident? What are you doing, huh? Putting that away? Oh, he's getting food. <gasps> wow! Pine has already reached social level three. His creative faculties are programming are progressing nicely. They're so cute. And he wants to meet someone new. Talk about school day. You haven't even gone to school. I guess he wants to talk about like his day. Is that even a choice somewhere? Is that his phone ringing? Oh, that's Lily. I was going to be like, what? Okay, actually. Actually. Can you, like, call someone, little guy? <gasps> you can. Let's call... Not Ricky. Ricky was kind of a jerk. Uh, Francis, as weird as he was, seemed okay. And then let's text Ahmed. And let's chat with Olivia and see what, let's see what happens. And then Lily, who's calling you? Oh, it's her girlfriend. Okay, chat with Zoe. Tate, are you coming in to join in on the chat? He's like, I'm, I'm feeling lonely. It's a family conversation in here. Look at Lily's just sitting on the bed still chatting with Zoe. <laughs> and Pine, oh, poor Tate. He's like, okay, I came in to talk with you guys and you're all just like on your phones and ignoring me. That's fine. He's just so, he's still smiling though. Tate, you are precious. You know that? All right, let's feed Microbite. And then let's see, Pine, are you done talking with people? Yeah, he's actually done talking with people. So can we now read? Uh, I want to read too. How do we read to Pine? Let's take a picture together. More choices. I want... How does how does one read to one's child? Read to a child. With an adult sim selected, click on a child's book and select read to child when the child is present. Okay. So open. Do we have any children's books? Yeah! Genre children. Read to child. Pine! The first unicorn. We're going to read that book to him. Meanwhile, Lily, girl, stop browsing the web. 
and go explore space. That's a lot more exciting than getting on Tumblr or something like that. Seriously. Oh, are they going to come in here and read together? They're going to read the first unicorn together. That's so cool. For three hours. Because that's what Tate wants to do. He's like, Wunsch, Badida. What we? Oh, there goes Lily. Bye, sweetie. Have fun in space. Bring back lots of aliens. Hopefully those new upgrades will help. Yeah, and the, they just continue on with their story. <laughs> He's like, Mami and Quam. Alright. Boring discussion. Technical difficulties. Lily is off to another amazing adventure in space, or she would be if her ship were actually moving, which it's not. An error message on the main control screen informs her that the ship's diotherm drivers need to be updated. Try to update. Uh oh. Arena crash. Oh no! I guess Tate isn't being very entertaining. That's sad. He hasn't even read to his son for an hour yet. Okay, but Pine's a good boy. He's just gonna sit there and pretend that he's enjoying the story. Catch 22. When Lily clicks the update button to update the diotherm drivers, a helpful message appears saying the request cannot be completed because the diotherm drivers have not been updated. Oh my gosh. If we call tech support, they're just going to tell us to reboot it anyway, so let's reboot it and see what happens. Oh, and Pine made a friend! Who did you make friends with? Your aunt? I guess he made friends with his aunt, and that, like, counted. Looks like Ahmed wants to be our friend more than Francis. Reboot. Ah, yes. Turn it off and turn it back on. The preferred tech solution of professional rocket scientists everywhere. The diatherms sputter and a new message appears. Your diatherms did not shut down properly. Would you like to reset your diatherms in safe mode? Fine. Oh my gosh. This is so ironic. Oh, and he's feeling a little cooped up. We finished the book. I think. I really don't think he's enjoying it. Arena. Lily engages safe mode and the diotherms immediately explode out the ship. That hardly seems safe at all. However, it does clear the error message and that's what important that's what's important. Unfortunately, landing with a minor engine breach and no diotherms is insanely dangerous. Oh fudge. Lily, if you die, I will cry so hard. Alright, well everyone wants nap time and there's one hour down of reading, and Pine is like, oh thank goodness he's done. So poor Pine. He's feeling a little cooped up. So we're actually gonna send him out here. Can he interact with any of the plants? Nope. Can he interact with the pond? <gasps> he can! Let's have him go looking for frogs. He's gonna get his very first frogs. This is so exciting. Oh fudge, Lily. Uh -oh. Lily has returned home from exploring the cosmos and she's in one piece, thank goodness. I was really worried about that. You cannot be bored after that, darling. You are not allowed to be bored. Go and explore space again. I'm just going to keep kicking her out, like, she's an astronaut now. She needs to go explore space, repeatedly. Pine, where are you, little buddy? Pine's like, yay, I'm outside! Woo! Rocket ships! He probably thinks that's normal. Moving day! Passing the planet Yang, Lily seems w sees a weird-looking alien standing amid a huge pile of trash bags and rusty, fut rusty futon parts. Turns out he's moving to a new pad on the planet Rompdeer, and his friend who was supposed to help just bailed. Lily's got some extra time. Should she pitch in? Sure. Alright, can you not reach that little dude? Oh, he can. Check it out, he's going fishing! Oh, that's so cool. And he's a happy little kidlet. A lot of junk. Hmm, Lily really doesn't have a big enough cargo bay. The aliens got a lot of incense burners and bottle koozies, and they might not all fit in the ship. Should you try to cr cram it all in there or give up? Uh, let's cram it in there and see what happens. My gosh, she gets into the most interesting adventures on the weekend. How's it going, little dude? <gasps> this is his first catch! Holy days! Pine! You have your father's touch. Your very first catch, and it's a leaf fish. That is some lucky luck luck right there, little lucky luck, sir. Look at that. Oh, it's generation two. Generation two's fishing. Oh my gosh, Pine is a beautiful child. Holy moly. I can actually see some of his parents in both of him and his aunt, which is really cool. Pine, you just caught your first fish. Crunch. Uh-oh. Uh, Lily tries to sh shove all the stuff into the cargo bay, but they hear a tailbone crunch. The alien's terrarium has just shattered. Oops, since he has nowhere to put his prized pet, he gives it to Lily as payment for the ride. His name is Bandit. <gasps> we have an alien. Lily has found a 
an alien. Lily has found an alien and Pine just caught his first tree fish. Oh my gosh, what a day. Okay, hang on. We're gonna have to find a new place for the other fossil. Uh, we're gonna put it over here where the baby's gonna be. And then we've gotta get a new fish tank. And we're gonna put Pine's first catch in it. I'm so excited. And we are going to add the fish, the tree fish. Yay! And Pine has his very first little fish catch. Oh, that's awesome. And Lily is bringing home an alien. Holy moly. Okay, we've got to see what the alien looks like. So much cool stuff going on. And this little guy is happy because he is outside. He is leveling up his mental skill. Apparently that is what fishing skill counts as when you're this big. Let's see, mental. Yeah, he's working on his mental. Already has leveled up his social quite a bit. Anybody? Wow, there's lots of people in the garden. We're gonna make him come into the garden because he wants to meet two more people. Meet Emily, friendly introduction, and meet Talon. Get some adult role models in your life safely. And we have our little growing cowberries. They're so cute, so cute. Oh, he's bored again. Oh, adults really bore this kid. He just, he wants to play with other kids. So after he meets these, these people, we'll start inviting other kids over for him to play with. But meanwhile, we need Miss Alien Fetcher to come back with the alien so we can see what it looks like. All right, he's met one new person. I really should get going now. Milestone complete. Pine has completed the chat box of Social Butterfly. Let's see, do 20 successful funny interactions, make a BFF. Achieve level 5 social skill. Oh, he's happy now. Okay. Go ahead, have fun, chit chat with the random people. But then let's have him come over. It's still early in the afternoon. So we're going to have him come over and invite over one of his little friends or future to be friends. Let's see. How about Ahmed? Because they seem to be getting along the best. So invite to hang out at current lot. And we'll see if that works. Tate, what are you doing? Don't play Sims forever. Well, actually, okay, Tate, your sister still isn't home with the alien. I want her to get home with the alien so bad. I totally do. All right, let's see. We're gonna have him listen to space, what, listen to space launch? Dude, do that. Maybe it's something about your sister. That's so cool. He's like watching a live stream space launch right now. And he wants to do some research on the computer. That is so cool. What kind of research? Where's the research option? What? Let's see. Mm, right. Comedy. Research web. Research. There we go. Research gardening. Let him work on that. So that's cool. Meanwhile. Oh, hey, our friend is over. There we go. Make silly faces in the mirror, get to know Iris, talk about school day. Oh, talk about school. Pfft, I shouldn't have gotten rid of that. So it has to be with other kids. So Ahmed, hi. You're a new friend. We're waiting for Lily to get back with an alien. Joke about bananas. Funny. Do an impression. Funny. Quote cartoon character. There, now he can just have some fun laughing with his friend. Hopefully they can have a good time. Let's try play make-believe. Just have a good time, guys. Be friends. Have fun. Where is your aunt? I want that alien. Like, yesterday. Lily! We'll let the boys play while Tate is still watching the space launch. Is this giving him, like, some sort of fun boost? <gasps> Lily! Lily! You're home, Lily! You brought home an alien, Lily! You're back, Lily! Welcome home, darling! And you brought home an alien! I've got to see this. I have got to see this. Alright, alright, alright. We gotta put this book away. Snag this book, tuck it away. What do we have here? <gasps> Live blue slug! A rare alien! Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. It's an alien. It's an actual, factual, simlish alien. Look at him. It is the cutest thing. Does it move? <gasps> it has giant eyeballs! Three of them! 
Okay, we were gonna move the fish. Okay, fish, I am so sorry. You're still here. You're just demoted to that spot. Alien over here. It has five, four, four eyeballs. No way. No way, that is too cool. And Iris is home. Well, that's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. So we have brought home our first alien. We're gonna let Lily go potty. And then you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna kick her back out. <laughs> go back to space. Go back. Oh, wait, wait, wait. She has to do stuff for work, doesn't she? <laughs> Never mind, Lily. All right, so we are going to just have some fun. We've got our first alien. We're going to see how that interaction works with the aliens. We are going to have Lily get the starry night moodlet. We'll invite Zoe over for the night. I think that's uh, worth, worth celebrating our first alien for. We'll get to level six of the fitness skill. And we are going to let this little guy try to make his very first friend with Ahmed. So hopefully that'll work. These two are having quite a bit of fun, it seems. Tell him not reach a story. They're being goofballs. And there goes Miss Pregnant. Joke about bananas. And there goes Miss Iris, who is currently in her second trimester. Trimester three begins tomorrow. Get out of the iron. Iris, get out of that outfit. I just can't. I just can't. Please. Thank you. And she is off to go say hi to her husband. So things are going great here. We are going to hang out with that alien. We are going to hang out with Zoe. We are going to try to go back to space and get more aliens. And get a promotion for Lily Girl, who actually wants a promotion. And I'm thinking maybe one more promotion, maybe two. And then we might have Zoe either move in. In fact, I think we might have Zoe move in. I think we just might. We seriously might. So we might have Zoe move in soon because Lily really has accomplished a lot of the things she wanted to do. She is traveling to space. She is bringing home aliens. She has been promoted to an astronaut. So I think it's about time that she starts focusing on her personal life too. So I think, well, we'll see what Zoe thinks about that tomorrow. That'll be, that'll be a fun, a fun thing. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. So I will see you guys and this amazing, growing, ever-expanding family in the morning. Bye-bye, guys.